Mike Stone here at CBS 6. We have that destructive severe thunderstorm warning I was telling you about just a little while ago. It has now been extended down into the entire Richmond metro area. So let's go to the maps. I'll show you here a severe thunderstorm watch for the entire CBS 6 viewing area. But it's this severe thunderstorm warning that you see here shaded in orange. Uh, there are three different types of severe thunderstorm warnings. Just a normal one, one that's called considerable and one that's called destructive. So there's a three three tier system. This is top number three, and this is given to storms that create extreme amounts of damage. And in this case, we have had some wind gusts measured by Doppler, possibly over 80 miles an hour. That is pretty much the equivalent to category one hurricane strength. It's this line of storm that's coming southward, almost down directly down I-95. We'll show you it here on the radar. It is just this cluster of storms in that front edge that you see there. There's a bow segment, and with that, that's where the damaging winds are. In fact, I'll zoom on in, and you can see that it is crossing Highway 54 now. It's near 301. There's 295 there at the bottom of the screen. It's almost near Glen Allen. In fact, there's some of the velocity. Everywhere that you see there in that bluish white is winds of at least 70 miles an hour, possibly over 80 miles an hour. What you see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, that is our storm riders going up I-95 to intercept this storm. And you can also download our CBS weather authority app that will give you uh, everything you need to know about this storm but as we take a look this is the latest uh, storm track on it in fact this storm has moved so much in just the couple minutes that I've drawn it. Let me adjust it for you. So that would get it down into Richmond at 328. So we're only talking about uh, 22 minutes from now or uh, yeah, three. To, uh, no, I'm sorry. Twelve minutes from now, 3:28. Uh, that is in Richmond, Rhina, 3:37, Meadowville, 3:44. Uh, this will be in Chamberlain at 3:20. So if you live in the Richmond metro area, especially in the city and points eastward, eastern Hanover County, eastern Henrico County, you need to take some severe weather precautions now. Um, we don't have any rotation in the storm, so it's not a tornado, but there are also winds in excess of 70, even 80 miles an hour. So uh, this is an extremely dangerous situation. We also have a QR code for you in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Take your smartphone, take a snap of that, and that will take you to our CBS 6 Weather Authority app and all the severe weather information. Winds in excess of 60, 70, possibly 80 miles an hour, and that is moving down into the Richmond metro area. It is in central Hanover County now. There's this line of storms coming down, and then in northern parts of Virginia, up by D.C., there's another cluster of storms following behind that. So this initial band looks like it'll probably be the worst of all that we're going to see, at least with this initial part right here. It's in central Hanover County, and you can look at all these storm reports here to the north. Everywhere you see one of those kind of blown tree icons, that's where we're getting wind damage reports. I'll just click through some of these. Trees down, multiple trees down. We've had some reports here of wires down, northeastern Spotsylvania County, large tree down. You get the idea. In fact, in some of these reports, we have multiple trees down, and we even had some reports of this affecting some vehicles as well. So zooming back on in, the entire Richmond metro area under a severe thunderstorm warning, this goes until 4 o'clock. And this includes the city of Richmond, Pretty much 99% of Henrico County, Eastern Goochland County, Eastern Powhatan, all pretty much all of Chesterfield County and a good portion of Hanover County, northwestern King William County, because that's where the storm is right now. So let's zoom back on in. Want to kind of give you a little bit better perspective here on some of the towns that it's moving into right now. And you can see it's moved through Ashland and what will happen is um, this will continue moving towards the south and tell you what, let me I just want to do one thing here real fast. Um, so the storm is tracking southward here at 45 miles an hour. Here's an updated storm track. So that brings it in Richmond. Still, we're talking 328 about 9 to 10 minutes from now. Capitol View, 335. Verina, 338. Meadowville at 345. So you need to take some severe weather precautions. Make sure you stay away from windows. Put as much space between you and the outside walls as possible. Um, this may cause small, medium, possibly even large trees to come down. This will cause power lines to come down. If you lose power, you can listen to us and watch the severe weather coverage, not only on the CBS 6 Weather Authority app, but you can also go to our website, WTVR.com. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a thing that says Watch Live. So if you lose power, you lose cable or satellite, whatever, you can watch the live coverage here just on your smartphone. Uh, any other devices, if you still have power, power those up now. You may be losing power. And this line is moving extremely quickly. Um, 
possibly even faster than 45 miles an hour. In fact, I want to show you again the uh, warning on this is right there. So you can see everywhere that's in orange there is a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. And this system is a cluster of storms moving southward now. Uh, we're talking about 80 mile an hour winds, uh, the potential for multiple trees to come down. Um, getting some reports, about a thousand power outages uh, clustered west and just southwest of Bowling Green. That came into us uh, three minutes ago. Um, at 317, also our portions of Caroline County, trees down, power lines down, and you can see here their Storm Rider 6 in the bottom left-hand corner, they're moving up I-95 there, um, getting a little bit closer to intercepting the storm now. Um, so with this severe thunderstorm warning, this is in effect for about another 40 minutes and damaging wind gusts. I know we throw severe thunderstorm warnings at you a lot, Normally, they're for winds of 58, 60, 65 miles an hour. This is a line of 80 mile an hour winds tracking southward into the metro right now. So if you're one of those people that when you hear a severe thunderstorm warning, you'll be like, eh, it's not gonna be that bad. This is not one of those cases. Um, we'll show you here, I'm gonna zoom back on in here a little bit and show you some of the neighborhoods that it's moving into. So right now, this initial line here Let's zoom on in a little bit more, is the initial edge right near 295 here, right near 301. It is near Studley Road. It's passing Cedar Lane. It's getting closer to Greenwood Road. And then some of the other roads in the metro, we have Hungary and Woodman down towards Wilkinson Road. And then there's Atlee, Meadow Bridge, those areas there. Atlee Station and Virginia Center Parkway right there. So we're talking up by Virginia Center Commons. This is where the front edge of the damaging wind gusts are. Um, let's throw in the velocity. Anywhere we see this bluish white, I, I mean, we're talking about wind velocities in excess of 70 miles an hour. Look at that, the Doppler's measuring 88. Now this is a little bit off the surface, but some of that is mixing down on the surface. So we're talking about at least winds of 70, 75, possibly 80 miles an hour. Um, so. Um, I know a lot of people really don't take some of these warnings seriously unless it's a tornado warning, but this may actually cause more, war, uh, more damage than a tornado warning because sometimes tornadoes are so small they're focused to like a neighborhood or a couple streets. This is a line of strong winds coming right into the metro. Um, and right there where you see this front edge coming into the metro right now, in fact, right here, this edge that you see here, the outer edge of this red, this is the beginning of where the winds are. So they're coming down into Richmond even as we speak. So um, we apologize that you're missing Ellen right now. We're gonna stay with you here as the storms come into the metro because it's been a while since we had a severe thunderstorm warning like this with damaging winds potentially in excess of 80 miles an hour. There's a shot in the bottom left-hand corner. That is our CBS6 tower cam looking to the north and you can see this wall of rain that's coming into the area. You know, I've been focusing on the winds that are coming into the area, but this is also putting down torrential rainfall. You might have noticed today, a bit hotter and a bit more muggy than it's been in recent days. And these thunderstorms are tapping into all that mugginess and just squeezing it like a saturated sponge. So we have torrential downpours coming. There's a shot of our diamond cam bomb lower left-hand corner of the screen. So we have the heavy rainfall, thunder and lightning. If you know anyone that's outside anywhere remotely close to the Richmond metro area, Tell them to come inside. You know some people are having baseball games out on golf course. Get out of there now. Um, just because this isn't a tornado warning doesn't mean that we have to just, oh, oh, it's not a tornado warning, it's not a big thing. It is. Winds 80 miles an hour coming into the Richmond metro area. They're crossing 295 even as we speak uh, right now. Let me put some roads back on here. So that's 95. That right there is 295. This is 301. And then down here, there's Laburnum and Hungry Road there. And there's Woodman, some of those uh, larger ones uh, a lot of people know. And over there, Rural Point Road and there's Pole Green Road. So 
let's just watch this for a couple seconds here. So strong winds now in the Glen Allen area, just about in Bryan Park, right near Richmond Raceway currently, and in Mechanicsville, Adley area there. Towards the top of the screen, green top, that's a landmark there on I-95. So this is the motion from just the last hour and watch it how quickly the storm is coming southward. So this is just in the span of 60 minutes moving to the south right now. We continue to get some updated reports from areas like Caroline County up there, um, Bowling Green. In fact, I can tell you right now we're in the museum district downtown. I can hear stuff on our roof being moved around now. And where we are, we are ahead of where this storm is. There's a tower cam. Looking northward, here comes the severe weather and the damaging wind gusts. We're talking about winds at least, at least 60 miles an hour, potentially over 80 miles an hour, moving into the Richmond metro area. Um, Want to do a couple of quick scans, look at a couple things. Um, not really seeing too much in the way of hail right now. Um, there's a little bit of a core developing towards Glen Allen there. And it is really turning windy downtown and we're not even in the worst part of the storm here. Um, all this area that you see here in this bluish white, um, in fact, let me uh, switch a color here so this stands out a little bit more. This area right here in this bluish white. That's where we have the strongest wind gusts moving right through Mechanicsville right now. And these are, of course, Doppler estimated winds, but some of these that have been coming up, these actually seem a tiny bit lower than what we saw before. I saw one plot um, about 10 minutes ago of 88 miles an hour. So this storm, as it moves down into the Richmond metro area, may be causing widespread damaging wind damage. So this is essentially, if you want to think of it like an ocean, a strong wave coming into the area. And the front edge of that wave is where those strong winds are. So as that comes into the Richmond metro area, that first little bit is knocking down stuff like that. That's why they're called straight line winds. I know a lot of people, is it a tornado warning? It's not a tornado, it's straight line winds. And straight line winds can create countywide areas of significant damage. Tornadoes can too, but tornadoes tend to be a little bit more focused, a little bit more localized. But this is gonna be widespread wind damage across the entire Richmond metro area from Glen Allen down to the city over towards Hanover Farms. This warning, which is a destructive severe thunderstorm warning, goes for another 23 minutes until four o'clock. It includes Richmond, Petersburg, Hopewell, Colonial Heights, parts of Caroline County, most of Hanover County, most of Henrico County, a little bit of King William County, and just in the last few moments while we've been talking, the line now is down towards Highland Springs currently. So, what I've been seeing is this moving at 45 miles an hour and maybe even going a little bit faster than that. So I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit here and we're gonna take where the worst part of the storm is right here and we're gonna track that southward and actually wait one second for me here. So this part that's coming down right into downtown Richmond now into Henrico County, it's getting closer to the airport. And I'm gonna go just a little bit more than 45 miles an hour. So Richmond, pretty much now. Um, Verina, 335, Bellwood, 341, Centralia, 345, Chester, 347. Hopewell, 351, Colonial Heights, 354, 357, Petersburg. So essentially between now and four o'clock, a good chunk of the CBS6 Richmond Metro viewing area may be seeing some damaging wind gusts. As I mentioned, CBS6, we're located here on West Broad Street Museum District. Uh, we're just at the front edge of this now and the winds are already picking up outside quite a bit. We're cycling through some of the uh, tower cam shots in the bottom left-hand corner. 
Got one piece of information here. 301 South has been shut down just south of Shady Grove Road in Hanover due to a tree in the road. And this is one of many reports we are getting. The lovely Joy Fultz in the Weather Center helping me. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. Um, if you have information where you are, you can email it to newstips at WTVR.com. You can hit us up on the CBS 6 Twitter, Facebook, um, or you can send some pictures in through the CBS 6 Weather Authority app. Damaging wind gusts in excess of 60, possibly 70 or 80 miles an hour. And I want to go back and show you. This is the punch of winds that's been coming into the area. And all these areas that you see here shaded in the light blue, potentially over 70 miles an hour. So what we've been seeing in downtown here at CBS 6, the museum district, has just been the front edge of this. It, the heavy rain's hitting downtown now. There's a loud roar with the winds that are outside. This is kind of the leading edge of everything. In fact, pushing out a little bit of a gust front ahead of it. We have Storm Rider 6 up on I-95. Uh, we're cycling through our Sky Tracker cams. That one right there that you see is our CBS 6 tower cam. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, QR code, use your phone there, scan that, and I'll take you to our CBS 6 Weather Authority app to give you all of the warnings and information that you need there, our interactive radar as well. No, I mentioned this a little while ago, but for those of you just tuning in, some EAS alerts have been sent out, so even if you're not signed up for watches and warnings, your phone may be going off anyway. Um, you can always watch us, WTVR.com, and in the upper right-hand corner, there's a watch live if you lose power, you lose cable or satellite or whatnot. Um, this is a destructive severe thunderstorm warning. Um, winds in excess of 60, 70, possibly 80 miles an hour. We don't get ones like this too terribly often. Um, luckily, we don't. But this is a case where, um, no joke, you really need to take this seriously. Um, if you live south of Richmond, like if you live in Verina or um, maybe down by Bensley, you have time to maybe bring in some lawn furniture. Um, if kids are a couple doors down, want to bring them back to home base there. Um, goes without saying, if you're in the Richmond metro area and you have friends and family out doing anything sporting wise, they need to be inside a sturdy shelter now, not 20 minutes from now, now. This line of storms has now moved down into the city, the front edge of it getting close to the Philip Morris plant now. It's been moving through Bryan Park, Mechanicsville, Highland Springs, it's getting close to the airport right now. Um, in fact, um, if we could, yeah, let's switch through some of the Sky Tracker cams there. Um, the one from the airport will be interesting as well. In fact, um, let me pull this sky tracker shot up and go back to Max here so I can go through some of these. Um, Brandon, let's go back to, to Max one there. Okay, so there's the diamond cam. Um, there's our rooftop cam, uh, our tower cam. Uh, millionaire, so that's the one that was zoomed up a little bit. And Petersburg, things are pretty quiet right now, but you can watch here on the diamond cam, look at all that rain. If you focus in on the lights that they have in the outfield and the flags, look at just the amount of water that's being blown back and forth with the winds right now. So this is a very destructive situation. I hope for everyone's sake we don't have widespread da wind damage, but this is a situation where we may. So this severe thunderstorm warning goes until four o'clock. It is what is called a destructive severe thunderstorm warning. Um, there's a three tier system, regular, considerable, and destructive. And this one is the top tier. Um, not a tornado warning, but this may create more widespread damage than a tornado warning does. So this includes pretty much all of Henrico County, the entire city of Richmond, most of Chesterfield County, um, most of Hanover County, central and eastern Hanover County. Um, and here's the latest radar and take a look. So there's the warning again. Take the warning off. And let's zoom on in, stop the radar here. I apologize that you're looking at the top of my head a lot here, but um, I'm more concerned about you having the proper information. So excuse me as I uh, see the top of my head for a while here. There's Monument Avenue. 
So there's 64 Laburnum Avenue, 360, there's 295, so there's 64. Um, so there's Charles City Road, and there's River Road and Forest Hill Avenue. So if you live around the Philip Morris plant, if you live around Bonaire, if you live around Richmond International Raceway, if you live around Richmond International Airport, this is where the front edge of this destructive thunderstorm is tracking down into the area. Have had um, some reports of a lot of wind damage um, and just got one new update. So pardon me for just one second as I take a look at this. Um, okay. Um, all right, so we have a lot of thunder and lightning with this. Um, some winds potentially in excess of 70 or 80 miles an hour everywhere that you see the whitish blue. Okay, um, and I've been told that in our control room we have a full screen about power outages right now. So uh, Hanover right now um, just updated. 10,362, that number is gonna go up. Henrico County, 470. I expect that number to increase quite dramatically in the next hour or so. Spotsylvania and Stafford, that's where the storms have already gone through. Stafford County, over 5,000 power outages. Um, and okay. There's a shot of <clears throat> Excuse me, our diamond cam there. So 80 mile an hour winds potentially with this, widespread wind damage, and that is where the leading edge is of this precipitation and the edge of where the strongest winds are. So right here where you see the outer edge of this, this is where the front edge of the damaging winds are. And then everywhere behind that line, there is just this big area here of strong gusts. Um, just got a report from the National Weather Service from Mechanicsville that around 5,000 power outages have occurred just between Mechanicsville and Studley. So just in that small little area there, 5,000 power outages. Now, We've been really focused on the leading edge of this storm. I want to stop this for a second and let's track this farther southward. It's moving about 40 to 45 miles an hour. And when I show you these times, um, maybe even subtract a minute or two because this could be speeding up a little bit. So it's in Bonaire right now. Chester within the next nine minutes or so. Hopewell 349, Colonial Heights 355 and Matoka at four o'clock. Um, that entire box that you see that I drew there in dark gray, that is just the next 23 minutes. So that's how quickly the storm is gonna track to the south. Um, new report from the National Weather Service near Hanover Airport from 3.30, one inch tree limbs broken, shingles blown off in that area. Um, Richmond National Airport, the Weather sensor out there reported a gust of 60 miles an hour um, just a little while ago. So we talk about these gusts that are measured by radar. We actually have some ground confirmation of at least a gust of 60 miles an hour. So this line continues to track southward at about a good 40, 45 miles an hour. Extremely heavy rain and the damaging wind gusts. In terms of concerns, Wind's the primary problem. After that, we're talking about torrential rainfall. A um, Little bit of hail possible in this, but it's more so just this punch of velocity that's coming into the area right now. Um, so I kinda wanna jump back a little bit so there's the severe thunderstorm warning. It's a destructive thunderstorm warning. That goes until four o'clock. That includes Chesterville, Hanover, Henrico, and also the cities of Richmond, Petersburg, Hopewell, and Colonial Heights. 
destructive severe thunderstorm warning, winds at least of 60 miles an hour, potentially 80 miles an hour. A lot of thunder and lightning and torrential downpours. Um, one thing is just in the short time this storm has been tracking southward over about the last 45 minutes or so, it's already put down some rainfall totals in excess of one inch. Um, just looking at some new data, that, some new reports that are coming in. Now, behind this initial severe thunderstorm, there are more thunderstorms here across northern Virginia. Um, and you can see all the activity there. So there are more waves up by DC between uh, uh, Culpeper and DC. So these will be waves of storms coming southward. Um, those do not, as of now, appear that they will be quite as powerful as this, but we may have additional severe thunderstorm warnings for that cluster that's up by DC, the stuff that's near Culpeper County. Uh, we cover a large area of Virginia here at CBS 6, so I don't want to um, ignore anyone. So here, Northern Virginia, we're talking about like areas like Culpeper, Orange, Madison, Western Louisa County, over towards Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania, over toward King George County. There are some strong thunderstorms there. Those are not severe as of now, so heavy rainfall, thunder and lightning, maybe some gusts over 30 miles an hour. The main event is this destructive severe thunderstorm warning that covers pretty much all the Richmond metro area. It covers the entire city, covers all of Henrico County, all Chesterfield County, a good chunk of Hanover County, a very tiny sliver of King William County. But this is the motion from just the last hour showing you uh, the damaging winds going from north of Doswell down to south of the city. So this is covering a long period of time. So this is the radar from 242. This is the radar right now. So it has essentially gone 45 miles in one hour. That's why it's moving 45 miles an hour. But that just shows you the chunk of real estate it's covered in just the last 45 minutes. So let's go back in and show you where the front edge of all this is. Has moved through Verina. So put some highways on here. This is 288. Right there, there's 95. And there's 295 and then 64 over here. Um, some strong winds right over Darby Town, moving right towards Kingsland Road. We're in the, let's see, there's Jank Road. Walmsley Boulevard and some other roads down here. Cogbill Road and there's the other side of Kingsland Road. This is all tracking southward 45 miles an hour. So we're talking about punches of strong winds here in excess of 60 miles an hour, potentially 80 miles an hour. Um, so everywhere where you see the light blue, I think one thing that is slightly um, encouraging about this is as this storm continues to track southward, it looks like the winds are coming down ever so slightly. Um, a little while ago, right when the thunderstorm warning got issued, uh, we were getting widespread winds there of over 80 miles an hour. And now, fortunately, that 80 mile an hour area is a little bit smaller and a little bit more closely focused. But again, this entire area, a severe thunderstorm warning. Um, we just continue to get multiple reports from Richmond International Airport about gusts at 60 miles an hour. Um, so there's the front edge of the severe thunderstorm right there coming down to Route 5, um, right near Osborne Turnpike there. I know, that, I know that's a lot of text on the screen for you, but uh, if you live in that area, I want you to know about where all this is. And taking a look at some points of interest, we're talking about the Veterans Medical Center in this area of Rhina High School, Henrico High School, Fort Stevens Park, um, and out towards the West Virginia College there. Um, so this is really covering a lot of the city and the south side of Richmond right now. I keep scanning this, a uh, couple other computers here. One has some damage that comes in, and we continue just to get a lot of wind gust reports of 60 miles an hour or higher. Um, and again, it's from this punch of velocity that is around. Um, here are storm reports. And when we first came on and talked to you just a little while ago, like maybe 20 minutes ago, 
all the storm reports are pretty much up by Fredericksburg. And look at what has expanded down into Richmond now. So let's go through some of these. That's the one that's at the airport, 60 mile an hour gust measured at RIC. Um, 5,000 powerages from the storm between Mechanicsville and Studley. That came in at 328, so about 14 minutes ago. Um, some other reports here, Hanover Airport and numerous trees and wires down in Ashland. So this is just some really bad news up here just from these storms that have come through. Um, and we'll switch back over. We have a update on the severe thunderstorm warning. Essentially now that the storm's going on a little bit farther south where the National Weather Service has trimmed Hanover County out of it. But we're still looking at Chesterfield and Henrico. We're talking about 80 mile an hour wind gusts um, includes Kelowna Heights, Hopewell, Petersburg, to Richmond and the Tri-Cities, essentially. Um, so moving about 40 to 45 miles an hour in terms of the speed. And as this continues to move southward, this will go towards the Tri-Cities in a very short amount of time. So again, let's do an updated storm track. It's been a little while since we did one, but this storm is moving so fast uh, it's covering a lot of ground, so let's do, let's do about 45 miles an hour, just to give you a, an extra second or two of warning here. So Hopewell within four to five minutes, Colonial Heights five to six minutes, Petersburg within about nine minutes or so, Matoka um, about 14 minutes, uh, Templeton by 409, Carson by 413. Um, Unfortunately, this is hitting one of the more populated areas of our viewing area. Um, one comforting thing is sometimes when you get thunderstorm lines like this, this can stretch across the entire state. So we're lucky in the fact that it's focused, but unfortunately, wherever the storm's focused, it's bad for whoever's under it, obviously. But it uh, could have been worse with a larger kind of bow echo line of storms. Um, so right now, we have the severe thunderstorm warning in effect until four o'clock. It is, as I mentioned, um, a destructive severe thunderstorm warning. If you're just tuning in, um, three tiers of severe thunderstorm warning, it's just kind of like a regular one, considerable and destructive. Destructive is the top tier, and it's given to storms that are producing widespread damage. In this case, it's straight line wind damage. I know a lot of people are like, well, if it's not a tornado warning, it's not that big of a deal. No, um, the tornado warning those types of storms are a little bit more focused, more so neighborhoods or little chunks of counties, uh, a little bit more of a focused track. This is a widespread line of thunderstorms and it's impacting pretty much the entire Richmond metro area. So we'll go back and this has moved just a ton since we talked about it like a minute and a half ago. So now the front edge of this, let's clear this out. So here we are, there's 95 and there's 895 and five, and there's 295, 64 over there. And then down here, there's route 10, and here's the other section, uh, the lower section of 288. Um, so right now, this extends, the severe thunderstorm portion of the storm extends from the Philip Morse plant area down to the city of Chester over to Verina. Um, it's over by Richmond International Airport. Um, so this is moving southward at 40 to 45 miles an hour. So you can see here, if I widen the pictures a little bit, you can see where this is going. I mean, it's heading down towards Colonial Heights. It's heading down towards Hopewell. It's moving into Chester, but there's more of the storm that's coming down that way. So this is all pressing southward. So if you live south of Richmond, especially if you're on either side of 290, uh, on either side of 95, excuse me, um, this is where the crux of the severe thunderstorm is right now. As this continues to move southward, we are expecting more damaging wind gust reports, possibly in excess of 70, maybe even 80 miles an hour, potentially. Um, I think 60 is a good bet, but potentially it could be as high as 80 miles an hour. So there's reams, and we're talking about areas like 360, the Poway, the Chippenham, there. Um, route 10, Route 1 and 95. So this is the Bensley area, Bellwood area, Verina. And 
put on some storms here for those of you that live in that area, the Kingsland area, Mill Road, Rhino Road, and the Strath Road, and there's the other section of Kingsdale. So this is where the highest velocity winds are right now. In fact, looking at the velocities right there, I mean, this is th this storm has just had some of these Doppler velocities over 70 miles an hour, even over 80 miles an hour. Um, so the reason why the National Weather Service rightly so issued a destructive severe thunderstorm warning, um, it's a new, new category, um, criteria scale of thunderstorm warnings that went into effect pretty recently. And that helps you distinguish between if, you know, the severity of a severe thunderstorm warning. This is the top of the severe criteria with the wind damage reports, um, potentially winds over 60, possibly 80 miles an hour. Um, and it's wide now just a little bit. Now, this line that you see right here, let me stop the radar. This line that you see right here, that's an outflow boundary or gust front. So down in Petersburg, you're feeling this initial gust of wind that's actually ahead of the thunderstorms. We felt that here downtown before the storms even hit. So that little ribbon that you see there that I've kind of traced in red, that's the outflow boundary. That's pushing southward, and then right behind it, this is where the severe thunderstorm portion is there that we're really concerned with. Moving southward 40, 45 miles an hour. And there has, there has been a little bit of hail here, no rotation, um, but the damaging winds have been our primary threat. Um, multiple power outages. A video of some damaging winds in the uh, Emancipation Highway area. Okay. Um, a few big trees down on some power lines in that area, but just speaking on those heavy winds that you were talking about. That's Joy Fultz, ladies and gentlemen. She was just off camera. But thank you, Joy, for your help. Um, so if you have anything you want to send to us, CBS 6 Weather Authority app, news tips at WTVR.com, and email. And take a look at the shot in the lower left-hand corner. Um, let me take a look here. So, so that is our Petersburg camera. Just, just look at that. I have, I have a larger monitor over here so I can see it, but uh, there is that gust front going down to Petersburg and Colonial Heights. That is not the severe thunderstorm. That's the gush of wind coming out ahead of it. Um, so the winds down in Petersburg are going to get worse over the next 20, 30 minutes. At the old town section above where it says warning, that's the historic train station. And on the right hand side, that's the bridge going over into Colonial Heights. So that's there. Um, it looks like things have gotten a little bit better here in Richmond and also out by the airport. So the, the crux of the stronger winds have moved through Richmond right now. So let's go back and talk about some radar stuff here. So here's the really heavy rain, the strong winds, Bensley down to Chester. And we showed you Petersburg. And again, this green line, that's not precipitation. That's the radar measuring the wind gusts coming out ahead of the system. So when that little gust front outflow boundary comes through, it pushes this little, little branch of cool air ahead of the storm. So the winds pick up a little bit. And then here's where the actual severe thunderstorm is. So that's going to be moving into the Colonial Heights momentarily. Moving into Hopewell momentarily. It is currently located right over Route 10 there, and we're talking about 95, 144, 295, this area here. We continue to get reports of wind damage. In fact, just got a brand new report of wind damage in the city. So numerous trees and wires down within the city from 3.35, so just about um, 20 minutes ago. So trees and wires down. And some of the other reports here, 60 mile an hour gusts. 
at the airport and all wind damage reports north of Richmond. This uh, storm has moved very quickly southward. In fact, this is just the last hour. And you can watch as it was up just south of Fredericksburg, right there around 255. And here we are at 355. It has covered all that ground and it continues to move southward between 40 and 45 miles an hour. So this is heading towards Petersburg and Tri-Cities, but it's also gonna be heading into Eastern Dinwiddie County, Western Prince George County. And eventually, if this holds together, into Sussex County as well. So let's just recap a couple things. Um, we have the considerable severe thunderstorm warning. So it was a destructive severe thunderstorm warning. And now the National Weather Service has gone down to the category below that. So it's gone from destructive con to considerable. Still nothing to joke around with. We're still talking about wind gusts in excess possibly of 70 miles an hour. So the threat of 80 mile an hour wind gusts have come down a little bit now that the storm's moving a little bit farther southward. But this is for the Tri-Cities and the county of Chesterfield. And this may get extended into Dinwiddie and Prince George counties um, probably within about the next 10 to 15 minutes. So this is the wind velocity again. So this area that you kind of see here in this really light green and light blue here, these numbers have come down, thankfully. They were about 80 miles an hour a little while ago. So this is, this is um, a good sign. Still gonna create some wind damage, but we're talking about wind gusts probably about 20, 30 miles an hour lower than what we had as it was coming into the Richmond area. So right now it's moving into Pocahontas State Park. It's moving right into Colonial Heights. It's moving into Hopewell right now. And as this continues to track southeastward, damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. Widen this a little bit. Um, if you've been with us for a while, thank you for watching CBS 6. And hopefully you're staying safe and you still have some power. If not, you're watching us on your smartphone. But this is moving so quickly that I give you a storm track and within about five, 10 minutes, this has already moved through another county. So we're talking about this moving into Matoka in just the next few moments, Reams by 410, Carson by 416, and Stony Creek by 424. So again, damaging wind gusts and um, the potential for some trees down, some power lines down, and also torrential rainfall. Um, this muggy air that we had across the area for today helped fuel these thunderstorms. Thank you, Misty. Um, and the worst of it has passed out of most of Henrico County now. Uh, there's still a little bit of it just south of Rhina, but uh, essentially this is in all of Chesterfield County now moving into Colonial Heights. So the worst of it has passed Henrico County. We'll go a little bit farther northward. There are more clusters of storms here to the north. A couple severe thunderstorms here northwest of D.C. and in far northwestern Virginia. But these ones that you see up here, um, Culpeper, Madison, Orange counties, and over towards parts of the northern neck here, these do not have any severe thunderstorm warnings on them. They may have some wind gusts over 40 miles an hour. Um, the criteria for a severe thunderstorm warning is it has to contain one or more of the following. Winds in excess of 50, 58 miles an hour or higher, hail or a tornado. We don't have to worry about tornadoes with this. This is just all straight line wind damage. But you notice winds 58 miles an hour or higher, this storm was potentially um, containing wind gusts close to 80 miles an hour a little while ago. So this continues to move to the south rather quickly. Um, so the worst of it has moved through Hanover, most of Henrico, and the bulk of the severe weather right now with this storm is in the area of Route 10, 95 and 295, and then there's 288. Um, Branders Bridge Road there, and Rough and Mill Road. So these are some areas right now that are getting the worst of it. Woodpecker Road there, and towards the back edge of this, Kingsland Road, as we mentioned a little while ago. Um, and there's Beach Road. Um, and in terms of 
some landmarks there. Kind of go over here. So there's the Chesterfield Power Station, um, Bermuda Elementary School. I know some schools are out, but um, you know where these are if you live down there. Um, so a lot of schools there and Matoga High School there. Brand new severe thunderstorm warning. Okay, this has been extended farther southward. We mentioned that as the storm went farther southward, it would get extended into Dinwiddie County, Prince George County, and even Sussex County. So that is what has just happened. So this is the brand new severe thunderstorm warning. And this is um, tier one of tier three. We have tier one, which is a severe thunderstorm warning, but then we have one that's considerable and one that's destructive. We were destructive a little while ago. It's come down to considerable. And now this new severe thunderstorm warning is a normal severe thunderstorm warning in the fact that the winds are lower, uh, still damaging wind gusts potentially, 60 miles an hour or higher. But the part of the storm that was containing the 70, 80 mile an hour wind gusts has weakened a little bit. So this is still something to be very careful with and some of you need to take some severe weather precautions with, but the winds not quite as strong as they were as they were north of 64 as it came down into the metro. So um, as I mentioned before, it looked like that line was speeding up and the weather service has it now moving south at 50 miles an hour. Um, that's why when I was giving you a lot of the storm tracks, even though it was kind of slated at 40, I was going a little bit higher than that. Um, so down in this area, and by the way, um, we've crossed over four o'clock, so I want to let you know you're watching CBS 6 News at four, and we'll continue this coverage as the storm works southward through the Tri-Cities area. So this green line right here is an outflow boundary or a gust front. Um, and this is a little gush of wind that comes out ahead of a thunderstorm. So down in Prince George County, right now, you're probably getting a little gust of wind and really not much rain, but it's actually this other part here from Chester to Colonial Heights, Petersburg to Hopewell, that's where we have the severe thunderstorm warning and the damaging wind gusts. So this is moving southward now at 50 miles an hour. And due to the fact it covers so much ground, I need to widen out the radar here a little bit to draw this. So here's the leading edge of the strongest winds right there. So that going southward at 50. The very localized section, so I'm only doing the, the, the part of the storm that has the strongest winds. So you, you notice there's a large area that's a severe thunderstorm warning, but this is where the punch of the strongest winds are. That would get to Reams in about seven to eight minutes, Carson by 415, and Stony Creek by 423. Um, winds at least 58 miles an hour, potentially over 60. There's the potential for some small hail. Um, and these storms that have been moving through the area, have been producing some wind damage. In fact, just since we talked about 345, we have some brand new storm reports here. So this one in Chester that came in, um, 1,200 power outages due to the storm just south of Bellwood. It's just that little chunk of Chesterfield County, 1,200 power outages. And then here, multiple trees down, Richmond Highway and Terminal Avenue. So that was um, about 12 minutes ago, 13 minutes ago, Richmond Highway and Terminal Avenue. That was in the uh, city of Richmond. And again, I mentioned before, we had numerous trees and wires down within the city itself. I'm gonna stay with it just a little while longer as it goes down to the Tri-Cities and then we'll go to our normal, regular scheduled 4 p.m. newscast, bring in Julie and Cheryl, who I'm excited to see. Um, and they're the severe storms now. We're essentially in the Tri-Cities now. We're moving into southern Chesterfield County. We're in the Tri-Cities. So Colonial Heights, Petersburg, um, the crux of it hasn't really hit Hopewell. It's just west of Hopewell, but essentially Chester down to Colonial Heights and Petersburg. And we're talking about, you know, all those elementary schools that are down there. So there's Virginia State University right there. There's the Colonial Health Health Department. So those of you who live in those areas know these landmarks. Southside Regional Medical Center, um, Lee Memorial Park. Um, so I'm trying to look at so it's Chesterfield Community High School. There's Matoka High School and Points of Rock Park. So instead of showing you some of the roads down there, those are some of the landmarks that those of you that live in the area know probably pretty well. Um, 
currently looking at winds potentially over 60 miles an hour in this area and the severe thunderstorm warning continues. This one that's down in that area is for Colonial Heights, Hopewell, Petersburg, Prince George County, Northwestern Sussex, Dinwiddie County, and Southeastern Amelia County. That goes until 430, so 26 minutes from now. And the storm is moving to the south at 50 miles an hour. The main threat, damaging wind gusts, 60 miles an hour or higher, um, but also some nickel-sized hail as well. Um, we've been really focused on the winds, rightly so, but also putting down torrential rainfall. It's a lot more humid today, and the atmosphere is just tapping into that moisture like a saturated sponge. So we're talking about torrential rainfall, like the point like you can't even see when you drive with wipers on. We're looking at some of the uh, sky trucker cans we have. I think that one in the lower left-hand corner, that's our Old Town Petersburg camera. So you can see the storm hitting that area now. So on the right-hand side of the screen, we have the radar showing you where the severe thunderstorm is now. Bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we have the Petersburg camera. Lower right-hand corner of the screen is our QR code. Scan that, and I'll take you to the CBS6 Weather Authority app and get you all the pertinent information. And I mentioned this before, but if you're just joining us, if you live down in this area or points south of this area um, and you have a smartphone, you can watch this on WTVR.com. Once you get on our website, upper right-hand corner, it says Watch Live. So if you lose your cable or satellite or you lose power, you can still watch us. If you still have power, you may want to be charging your devices now because we've had a lot of power outages thanks to this cluster of thunderstorms that has been moving southward. Just got a brand new radar scan. It has the front of the line right now moving down farther past the Tri-Cities and it is getting close towards uh, Johnson Road. This is 95 and then 295 there and then 85. So we're kind of at the junction of 85 and 95 here in the Petersburg area as this system tracks southward at about 50 miles an hour. Widespread wind damage potentially with this from uh, Toka High School, VSU, down through Petersburg. And just jog back up a little bit here. Still have some really strong wind gusts from about Chester down to Colonial Heights as well. So pretty much Chester, Colonial Heights, Petersburg, down to right here near 460. That's where a lot of the stronger winds are now. So there's Vaughn Road and Halifax Road. I want to give you some of these roads here because this is kind of the leading edge of where these winds are. Um, and I'm just looking to see, we've had a lot of reports of damaging winds, trees down, power outages down, and if through the control room, if you have updated power, just, just throw the full screen up if it's updated at whatever point. I'll just go with it whenever you throw it up. Um, so there's the storm moving south at 50 miles an hour. And there's our updated power outages, courtesy of Dominion Energy. Hanover County, let's just round up, about 15,000. Uh, Henrico, almost 9,300. Uh, City of Richmond itself, about 4,100, and Chesterfield around 1225 in terms of the current power outages. And that's just a sampling from the metro. So if you add all that up, we're talking roughly 30,000 power outages. And as I mentioned before, we've had some clusters of power outages of over 1,000 or two in just a short amount of time. Just got this in right now. Um, from National Weather Service, Ettrick, near the city of Petersburg, 4,000 power outages due to the storm in Petersburg. And that time was estimated from radar from 358. So in the last 10 minutes, last 10 minutes, we've had 4,000, the, the, the time leading up to 358, I should say, uh, over 4,000 power outages there just due to the storm coming down. This storm has weakened a little bit. It is still a nasty, severe thunderstorm. But the wind gusts now potentially about 58, 65 miles an hour before when it was about 70 to 80. So this has weakened a little bit, but um, we're still talking about this punch of velocity here where you see kind of like this uh, whitish blue here right between Colonial Heights and Petersburg. Um, these are measured just a little bit off the ground here. So we're looking at 55, 60, 65 mile an hour winds. So this is severe thunderstorm criteria. Um, also have been dealing with some hail as well um, in that area. So some larger hail just west of 95 and just northwest of 85 in Colonial and Petersburg there. 
uh, Colonial Heights in Petersburg, excuse me. Um, so this is where the severe thunderstorm warning is now. And the severe thunderstorm is just about to move into Lake Chesden and between Lake Chesden and Petersburg. So if you're down in this area and you're near 460, if you live on River Road down there, Hickory Road, this is where the storm is now. Moving uh, South Park Drive there. And it looks like the heaviest of this is actually just going to skirt to the west of Hopewell and the city of Prince George. Uh, pretty darn close, but it's going to skirt just to the west of that. So the severe thunderstorm now is down in the Tri-Cities, the back edge of it up by Chester and by uh, 288 there. So this is now down in the Tri-Cities. And again, this has had the history of producing over 4,000 power outages in a short amount of time in the city of Petersburg. So that report from Petersburg came in at 358. So let's jog the radar to 358. So that's when the storm, the gust front had come through. That's this uh, green line here towards the south, the outflow boundary. And then this was the beginning part of the severe thunderstorm. So 4,000 power outages just from that initial edge of those winds. So actually maybe a little bit higher than that uh, now. And we will get uh, further updated power reports as well. So the severe thunderstorm warning right now continues. It's for the Tri-Cities, um, a little bit of Chesterfield County, Dinwiddie, and a little bit of Prince George and Sussex County. And um, I'm going to wrap this up in about the next minute or so. We'll go to our normal 4 o'clock news. But um, this is where the severe thunderstorm warning is now. It has the history of producing damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. It is weakening slightly as it tracks southward, but is heading towards Dinwiddie and Stony Creek. Um, I will continue to give you some weather updates coming up over the rest of our 4 o'clock news, and we'll continue with the crawl at the bottom of the screen. But uh, severe thunderstorm warning right now for the Tri-Cities heading down towards Dinwiddie and Stony Creek. So I want to hand it over now to Julie Bragg and Cheryl Miller. Hi, guys. Working for you. CBS 6 News at 4 starts with a breaking news alert. And Mike Stone keeping us posted as strong storms move through the Richmond area this afternoon. This is a live look from our Storm Rider 6. Right now, we're still under a severe thunderstorm warning. Thanks so much for joining us for the CBS 6 News at 4. I'm Cheryl Miller. And I'm Julie Bragg. The rain is coming down. The winds are out there. And we could continue to see strong storms as the evening goes on. CBS 6 meteorologist Mike Stone working hard in the Weather Center. And he has the very latest for us, Mike. Hey, uh, we still have one severe thunderstorm warning that we're dealing with, and that is for the Tri-Cities down towards Stony Creek. This severe thunderstorm warning started up north of Fredericksburg just a little while ago and has tracked down through the Richmond metro area. But here's where the warning is now. It's where this box is that you see here on your screen, and that includes the Tri-Cities and down towards uh, Dinwiddie and Sussex County. Right now, the wind gusts are in the upper 50s and low to mid 60s in terms of miles per hour, about 58 to 65 miles an hour. Has had the history of producing some wind gusts around 80, though. And showing you here, these are all the storm reports from just the last hour. And you notice, very focused, right down the I-95 corridor. But in these situations, we've been talking about widespread power outages and also um, trees down, wires down. And going a little bit farther northward, we have more thunderstorms here, and notice there's another cluster here west of D.C. in far northwestern Virginia. Those boxes there show the severe thunderstorm warnings in that part of the state, and there's also one near uh, Harrisonburg tracking to the southeast. It's looking like some of these stronger storms that are coming in from northern Virginia may be focused more west of I-95, but for all of us, we remain in a severe thunderstorm watch until later on this evening. And that pretty much includes all the CBS 6 viewing area with the exception of parts of the northern neck over towards the coast. So severe thunderstorm watch for everyone going into this evening. In fact, that lasts as we go towards about 10 o'clock tonight. Um, so that's the severe thunderstorm watch. And then right now we're dealing with that one severe thunderstorm warning down by the Tri-Cities.